Hello mechanics and welcome back to How A Scout Thinks. We are playing on Dust Bowl with the Sandman, the Cleaver, and the Stock Scattergun. Now the Stock Scattergun is actually a strange one that somebody gave me a little while ago. A special thanks to you, whoever you are, because right now I can't remember. It's early in the morning, so my memory is a little bit fucky. So, in the middle of the game here, we actually spot a spy there, and I actually go in for him on the right, because I saw him. I knew where he was at. Right there. They go for that health kit pretty much every single time. So there's a little bit of spy hunting for you. Now, up ahead, I actually catch some splash damage from a soldier hiding around the corner. And I don't notice that he's actually hitting me because I might be barely on the edge of the blast radius. Now, right there, you see the spy. Right there. Very, very light. Very, very, you know... It's almost... You almost couldn't see him with all the fire and all the shit going down. But I, I caught him pr fairly quickly. Throw the ball at the uh, pyro trying to get him. And I'm running back around in the back line a little bit. Checking for spies. Going through the side tunnels. I'm looking for spies. Right now they got me a little spy paranoid. So I come up ahead and I see that they got the tunnel. They got the teleporter. That I may have taken once or twice when nobody else was around. It was a level 3 so it's okay. It's not like, you know, I have to run. I get lazy sometimes. Like hell, the scout gets lazy sometimes. You can just ask him. I'm not going to have him ask him. In that room there is a little bit of metal, and I'm going to bring that up here in a little bit. NG's metal and what metal packs are okay to take on certain maps like these. Coming up ahead, we see an Ubered soldier combo, and they actually have a sentry on the side there, which causes me to freak out a little bit, run into the wall, and probably get slapped in the ass by a charging demo man. Now that was rough. Now you see right there I took that metal pack with the health kit. When I should have just taken the health kit, aimed myself a little better and gotten in there because the engineer needed that health kit for a dispenser. No, the ammo pack. What am I talking about? Never mind. On to lessons. This is an engineer. Engineers enjoy building teleporters, dispensers, and sentries. Now, to do that, they need metal. Which, unfortunately, if you take, they cannot build things with and they have to go all the way back to spawn. So the lesson here is don't touch Inji's metal. He loves that music. Back into the game where I have switched up and taken a standard bat along with the cleaver. Now, a lot of people say that the cleaver is completely worthless if you're not using the Sandman with it to get that stun crit combo. But the, the cleaver is actually still a pretty viable secondary even without the useful stun crit combo. You can actually still throw it. It still deters people the same because if you get like 54 damage, which is what the cleaver does standard, followed by bleed damage, that's going to make anybody reconsider something, especially given most classes have around like 200-ish health, and that's that's a quarter of their health right there. Now this engineer doesn't exactly know what the fuck he's doing, so he waits until his uh, dispenser is blown up. I give him a little shake of the head up ahead here. Uh, I'm just like, nah, come on man, what the fuck are you doing? Down here, I rush into this tunnel only to find that there's their engineer who has set up a, t a uh, probably set up a teleporter somewhere by now, but we catch him with a little bit of a shot through the through the wind. Look like it's through the wall, actually. I'm not entirely sure on that one. And here we have this sniper. I catch the sniper, and he actually bleeds out up ahead. Yep, right there. Checking for spies. I'm a little bit spy paranoid at this point, which is actually fairly common for me in games where I'm playing as a scout. Now, there's another bump from a spy. He probably ran back up ahead, get caught by a flare and rush back for this big health pack. Now why do I go for the big health pack instead of going for the small one like anyone else would have gone there and allowed the big health pack to stay around for somebody else who needs it? Well, the reason I did that was to deny that spy, that sneaky little spy, wherever he may be hiding, the right to that health kit. These, uh, spies love to steal health kits. Well, I like to steal health kits from spies. If I can. So, I think there were two pyros there because one of them caught me with a flare after the other had already shot theirs and that tends to lead to a bit of confusion. I come over here looking for health, but there is none. So I'm just kind of confused, standing around like, what the fuck, man? What's going on? And now I think I'm going to let the scout commentate a little bit. A uh, hey, scout. Yeah, come over here. Yeah, no, they want, they want your voice, not mine. Will you just... Hey, okay, okay, Jesus, man. What the hell? You're gonna bonk, you freaking idiot. Alright, so, uh, I guess he wants me to dub over his freaking footage? Asshole. Okay. So, uh, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Okay, so he's throwing a ball at another scout. Yay. Except you gotta hit the guy. Just hit the freaking guy, come on! Jeez, you're bad at aiming, man. This sucks. Like, why are you doing this? This doesn't even make any... 
Okay, point taken. Jeez. What the hell, man? This, this guy is freaking crazy. Alright, so, um, pushing in with the Ubud Heavy here, taking that freaking sentry down and out, and then we're gonna wrap back around and get cornered by another scout who gives us a little bit of, a little bit of heck. Gets us down on health. I, I want to get out of there. I don't want to die right now. Dying looks bad. So I'm going to draw back and I'm going to get this big ass health pack again. Yeah. Now that is a good health pack. Looking for spies because spies, freaking sneaky little freaks. Nope, they've just shot heavy. There he is. Yeah. Now there's the spy I was talking about. Except he died. Oh, shame. I wanted to kill the guy. Sneaky rat. I'm going to run back in here and. Oh. Okay, yeah, he wasn't cutting it. <laughs> Jeez. If I wanted people to insult me, I'd just go to r slash TF2. They hate this kind of stuff. Take it from Mr. Paladin and take it from me. I only did one video and I got as much hate as Mr. Paladin's probably gotten in his years of doing it. <laughs> Which is okay, it's perfectly fine. Back into the game, back into the action, back into the Matrix, back into the shack. To quote a couple of people and get a drink of my daily energy drink. I saw the smoke coming off of the soldier, which alerted me to tell him he was a spy. I give him a little shake of the head, like, nah, don't do that. Come around here. I'm still checking for enemies. I'm still checking for people hiding. And here we have a scout medic combo. I shoot the scout down because he was in front of the medic, and then I take the medic down, alerting the heavy who comes around the corner and starts shooting. Now, he gets me down pretty low, but doesn't quite kill me, and the heavy on the left actually provides enough cover for me to slip past and call up the medic for a little help. Now... People are talking in the background, and I am communicating with them during the course of this game, except for when I record, I turn my microphone off, so you never hear what I'm saying, you just hear what they're telling me. I just slapped my desk, that was lovely. A little bit painful. Come back around, give the scout a little hecklage, yeah, they're all coming down this corridor now, I got all their attention, and that's good for me. I think somebody bleeds out up ahead, but I'm not entirely sure if they do or not. So it is a 50-50 on that. I'm still checking for spies. I'm still looping around. I'm still doing my thing. I should be somewhere near the front lines, of course, but we need more heavies on the front lines. Scouts are flank classes, and if nobody's flanking and everybody's, like, getting everywhere, well, guess what? It's not much hope for you, especially on defense with scout. Now, offense for scout is a lot better because you have a lot of sneaky things. Take the health pack from the spy and blast them in the mouth. That's a nasty combo. Double sentry in the same spot. Now, engineer Dane would have a little something to say about that. Not that Engineer Dane would actually be watching any of this, because I'm relatively new to the TF2 community, and as a result, nobody watches my stuff. Now, I could do PSA-style announcements, and I'll probably be making some of those in the future, but for now, we're doing this. I'm actually on a five kill streak, and I don't even know it. I, I usually don't keep track of my kill streak, because kill streaks aren't hyper important to me, they're just kind of something that's there. Now, I should probably be commentating more on the game because the, how a scout plays, how a scout thinks, is a journey for me. It is a a journey of me being bad right now, and I will be better later on, but I'm not good right now. So that's the whole thing. That's the whole reason I'm recording this. That's the whole reason I do the whole cameo part with the spy. With the, with the spy. Oh, shit. They found him. Run, spy. Run. Alright, now that he's gone, we're going to get back into this and continue doing what we do. So, can peek around the corner, grab both health kits because I'm a greedy bastard and I want all that health and realize that the target I was going to kill is dead, so I promptly uh, grab their ammo and see that a spy has been giving both of our engineers hell. Now, I don't see where the spy went, but I know he's got to be around here somewhere, so I start looping back around, I start hunting him down, start trying to find this guy because he could literally be anywhere. One of the major things about spies is that they're not as perfectly sneaky as you might expect. Their decloak sounds, their footsteps, a lot of things can actually tip you off to where these guys are. So I get a little bit of peck damage on the heavy, but it's not enough to alert them. Spy as pyro going up the side is what I give to people. I tell them, hey, we've got a spy coming in. He looks like a pyro because you wouldn't see a pyro doing that. Especially not one of our pyros. No, he just came in from the enemy side like, oh, guys. No, throw the cleaver at the pyro, miss him, but get his attention long enough that he starts coming around the corner for me. I start pecking away at him, and land, I think I landed the cleaver, I'm not entirely sure. I might have missed, I don't hear the hit sounds, then again I don't hear anything because I record my uh, voice lines without this. So, 
up ahead is about where we start to lose the match and unfortunately it is a loss because that tends to happen in games like this you get you get punked out a lot especially when they got a double heavy combo coming around the side so I pick up the health and I run back up I think this heavy's alone I think I can get him I start hitting him meat shot meat shot missed a meat shot but I keep getting these meat shots I back up missing him by a fraction of a hair but they back cap and that's the game now as always thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more if you are new to this channel I'll see you in the next episode peace